touchdown. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Off play action. Richardson. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin. And the ball is free. Taylor lost it. And it's picked up by the Ravens. This drive didn't end well. I mean, I know you knew that shit was coming. Just got to take care of the ball at the end. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Flush to his right. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. Down the sideline he goes. Inside the 10. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dobbins. 81 yards. And the Ravens use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They were right out on the field and put the ball hands on. One play, that just had an insult injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go. Still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will be a return from deep in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. They had to fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, You've got to hit the jackpot there. Richardson off the play fake. Escaping the pressure right. Well, he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college. His playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. Richardson to throw off play action. Flushed out right. Throwing over, and it's Taylor on the out route that completes it. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Colts in possession as they are looking at a second and five situation. Now it's Richardson. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver. 
receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Running straight ahead, Taylor. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. A gain of 11 that time and a Colts first down. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack. And they can also get downfield and catch the football. So in Raven territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 41. Play action. Now Richardson. Nice. The crossing route, and he finds Pittman. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. And, partner, they're locked in man coverage out left, and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. First and 10, Taylor now. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. That's a nice run to get himself back on the horse after his fumble. Nothing spectacular, but a good confidence-building run. Now Richardson. That's into the hands of Mo Alley Cox, the tight end. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Richardson out of the shotgun. That's complete to Pierce. And he'll take this forward for about five as we have come upon the two-minute warning. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, here's Taylor. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Colts are an extra point away from drawing level. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine-yard line and you start thinking, maybe we should on, my nigga. first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he returns this to the 22. The Ravens take over first and 10. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. To throw is Jackson. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Here's Jackson to throw. Forced out to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten.
They'll indeed go for it with Jackson. They're looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. Picked by Ronnie Harrison. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Well, when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. They'll try the left side with Taylor. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Now the Colts moving quickly here in the hurry-up offense. Richardson. And that's caught by the tight end, Branson. And he's going to have the first down as they move into field goal range here at the 25-yard line. Here's second and ten. Here's Richardson to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. On third down, here's Richardson. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens are going to get it back here just past the 35. That pick hurts a little extra because it was third down. You were already in field goal range. You know what he's going to hear all night, all next week? Situational football. Understand what's going on because you expressed it perfectly. Three points were in their hip pocket. They had those. Now, those went by the wayside. You cannot make those kind of mistakes. It's what you call a rookie mistake. They're looking deep here for Flowers. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Colts are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late-round pick right there, making a first-round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense, and he comes up with the interception there. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked up by Marcus Williams. I believe this is what you would call growing pains here, partner, because this defense obviously took the challenge facing the rookie, and they wanted to help indoctrinate him to the NFL. So now the big question is, can he answer that challenge and rebound with plenty of time remaining in this game? They set up the screen to Hill. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave it with a second and just a few inches left. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Julian Blackman. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7-7 seven, seven our score. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? 
Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tied game. No need to panic, no need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. So they'll get the yardage on the run and get 15 more for good measure. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult to spot. You heard the sideline erupting, and the flags came out almost immediately. They'll go again with Dobbins. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down and inside the 25. 12 more yards there and another first down. Give up the middle to Dobbins. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. From the 24 now, here's the second and nine. From the gun, Jackson. He's got it complete to Aguilar. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. That's good for a Baltimore Raven. First and goal at the 8 yard line. They'll run here with Edwards. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. come to the line ready to start their next drive and this game was all square at halftime but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter and they need to take a good relax richardson hit and he fumbles it all in one of the linemen on the other side has got it we couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half a gorgeous day one score game first and ten here now yeah, richardson back to throw it Hits his target to tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Richards into the air on first down, eluding the pressure right. Oh, he's intercepted again. It's Richardson's third of the game. 